Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss with you a little bit about how to use and how to create Java variables used in Java programs and um, the different types of variables that you can use. So we'll go ahead and get started here. We'll create our new project, a new Java project, and call it variables. And within our new Java project variables, we will create a new class and call it variables as well. Okay, here's our class here, and we'll go ahead and make our main method. <coughs> okay, so now we have our main method here. And I'll tell you a little bit about variables. Variables are like small containers that can hold different types of data, whether it be numbers or um, letters and different types of characters. Um, variables can hold all kinds of different data. Uh, I'll show you a sample of one here. This letter here, this um, this word here, int which comes up in little purple letters, is a data type. There are eight data types. This particular one here is called int, and uh, it's an integer, and it holds whole numbers, both positive and negative. And uh, putting this in front of test here is, uh, this is a name that you can name whatever, you can name whatever you want on a uh, variable, it doesn't matter, but um, just know that these variable names are case sensitive. So capital T, um, test with a capital T is going to be different than test with a lowercase t. Those would be two separate variables. And uh, so this variable test can hold whole numbers, both positive and negative. And uh, I'll go ahead and write out the other data types for you. Okay, these are the eight different data types here, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about each one of them. And you already know int can hold whole numbers, positive and negative. This is the one you'll most commonly use whenever you're holding and um, manipulating integers. Now this, these next two here, byte and short, both hold um, whole numbers as well, but short holds less than int, and byte can hold less, can only hold less than short and int. The reason you would want to use byte and short would be if uh, you had a large program that used a lot of different, um, maybe integer variables and uh, they took up too much memory. So you could use a short or a byte possibly if you wanted to save a little bit more memory because they take up less. But typically you're not going to uh, be dealing with them as much. Um, I'll just go ahead and assign them just so you can kind of view it for reference. Long is similar to all three of these here, int, byte, and short, except it can hold much, much more than all three of these. Um, you might have to use this if, uh, if you have to hold, like, uh, I don't know, a really long phone number with an extension on it or something. But um, typically, int 
is going to meet most of your needs. But if it doesn't hold enough space, then you could use a long. And By the way, um, what I'm doing here is just setting these values um, to these variables. So 34 is assigned to this variable test, 23 is assigned to this variable test too, and I'll be able to interact with them and uh, manipulate them later on if I wanted to.